Hi, Lost Tools of Writing students. I missed you yesterday on the snow day, but I hope you had a good day and you got some good rest in. <clears throat> um, there's one thing that I need to present to you and tell you about before you start working on your outlines for essay six. Should be finished with your Annie's for essay six. Sorry, we didn't get to workshop those, but that's okay. You know what you're doing. So you're about to write your outlines, but I want to go over a new section. If you will grab your um, workbook and go to page 72. This has the basic persuasive essay outline on it. And I want to go over that with you real quick and talk to you about a new section that we're including. So on page 72, you've got your introduction, which has the exordium, division, um, and distribution, which is just like last time. And then you've got your proof section, three proofs with um, three sub proofs under each of those. That's the same. But this time you're adding a refutation. If you look at number three, it's refutation. That includes a counter thesis, which is the thesis that is opposed to yours. And then you need two counter proofs. And underneath those two counter proofs, you need a summary of why that proof is inadequate. I'm sorry, a summary of the reasons why someone would think that was a good proof. And then you need to explain why that's inadequate. If you remember, essay six is um, devil's advocate. So you are arguing the opposite of what you actually believe on your issue. And a little twist with that is you're actually going to bring in things that you do believe in your refutation section, but you're going to argue against them. And the reason that we do this is so that you can get used to listening to the other side really considering that other side's opinions and figuring out why you don't agree with them and then communicating those effectively. This is a skill that we've largely lost as a society and it's got us kind of to where we are, where we're in two silos of, of belief and political opinion and nobody listens to each other. So this is a really good exercise in learning how to listen to the other side doesn't mean you have to agree with the other side, but you need to listen and understand and then learn how to refute it. So for your refutation, let's look on page, um, I think it's 66. Yes, this week in your workbook, you're going to do page 66 through 71. So here, page 66, guide to refutation. So let's just start there. Um, on the top, it says, write your thesis statement. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's say that my thesis is we should paint our house purple. That's my thesis. Write your counter thesis. Now my counter thesis to that would be probably my husband saying, no, we should not paint our house purple. Choose one proof that supports the counter thesis. So I need a proof that would support my husband's counter thesis that we should not paint our house purple. And I'm going to say that is, um, it's really ugly and it doesn't look good. That's his, that's his counter thesis. Now I need three sub proofs for that. So let me think, what are some sub proofs for purple on a house is ugly. We actually have a house in our neighborhood that's painted purple and a lot of people make fun of it. Um, it has been shown that unusual colors on houses make it really difficult to resell that house. When people are coming to look at a house to buy, they're probably going to pass the purple house. And um, if you decide after you've painted your house purple that you don't like it, it's really hard to cover up dark or bright colors. It's expensive. You've got to put a primer on. So there, I've got three sub proofs. People in the neighborhood already make fun of one purple house in our neighborhood. Um, what was what did I say was my second one? Oh, it can be hard to resell a house that's a really unusual color, and it's expensive to cover over a bright or dark color if you decide you don't like it. That's how you figure out your counter thesis, your proof, and your sub proofs. So as you go through these pages, I want you to do this with your thesis. You already know what your thesis is for essay six. You've done your Annie. You should have a good idea of what your, what your proofs are going to be. So figure out what the counter thesis is to yours and then work through those on your workbook pages here. 
Let's go back to page um, 72, which is the outline page. Back to the persuasive outline page. So again, you're going to do your introduction, just like you've done before. Your proofs, just like you've done before. And then you're going to stick this refutation section in. And these workbook pages, 66 through 71, are going to help you with that. I think it has you do three um, sub -proof, or three proofs um, for the counter thesis, and you just need to pick two. Pick two for your essay. And then you'll do your conclusion section, just like you've done before. Restate the thesis, your summary of proof. That is your proofs, not, not the counter proofs. Um, so summary of your own proofs, why the thesis is correct, and then your amplification. So for next week, please have your outline ready. Do the section of uh, page 62 to 71 in the book and come ready to workshop your outline. And um, yes, Mrs. Tricarico is going to be subbing next week and she's great. You're going to have a good time with her. Um, give me a call or an email or a text if you have any questions. Okay, see you guys soon. Bye.